avoid it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of 2,800 pounds per second. And we've seen good indication of jettison of both solid rocket boosters. Vehicle's gone to closed loop guidance. Now just under two minutes remaining in the booster phase of flight. Two minutes, 35 seconds into flight. RD-180 continues to perform well. Engine's now throttling down slightly. Engine response looks good. And Atlas V is now traveling at over five times the speed of sound. Centaur reaction control system is now pressurizing the flight levels. System response looks good. Three minutes, Ooh, 10 seconds into flight. Whoa. Atlas V is now 38 miles in altitude, 80 miles downrange distance, traveling at 5,800 miles per hour. Whoa. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. Now one minute remaining until engine cutoff. Whoa. Body rate responses continue to look good throughout the booster phase of flight. Shut down. Up. And RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 3.5G acceleration limit. Engine responses will all look good. Awesome. Three minutes, 55 seconds into flight. Stage up. And Centaur's begun the boost phase chill down sequence. Our audio is about a minute behind. 20 seconds to Vico. RD-180 continuing to look good as it throttles to maintain that constant 3.5G acceleration limit. Atlas PU has gone to open loop in preparation for Vico. And standing by for Vico. And we have Vico booster engine cutoff, standing by for stage separation. And we have good indication of stage separation. We have pre-start on the RL-10, standing by for ignition. We have ignition and full thrust on both RL-10 engines. Chamber pressures look good on both engines. We have confirmation of ascent cover jettison on Starliner. Aeroskirt jettison. And we have good indication of aeroskirt jettison. Aeroskirt. Centaur now resuming active attitude control after successful aeroskirt jettison. Chamber pressures on both RL-10 engines continue to look good. This was a very critical piece of the mission here. Staging is always a very dynamic piece of flight. Now passing five minutes, 30 seconds into flight. Centaur RCS system is beginning the initial thruster firings for system thermal conditioning. System response looks good. Now once again, Centaur will continue Engine utilization. burning for about another five minutes. Now passing six minutes into flight. And Centaur is now 95 miles in altitude, 570 miles downrange distance, traveling at 12,000 miles an hour.